Today, I want to get into V asking armies to change and stop. I want to get into the latest biggest news of V and Jenny in Paris. And then we need to talk about not only a dating or holding hand video, but a kissing video as well. So hey dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumplings, hey smelling mug merch, and let's go. We have some crazy news today and it's brought up a lot of speculation and a lot of people with a lot of questions. One thing that was being brought up was V's more recent live stream where he was reading the comments and talked about how all he was seeing was basically Yoongi marry me or more TMI questions. I don't know what exactly TMI questions are, but it seems as if the boys are bored of the Yoongi marry me questions at this point. But basically, if you do not know, armies have live streaming etiquette questions that the fandom heavily in encourages others to follow during the stream, especially if you're going to write in Korean for the boys to actually read during the stream. The etiquette consists of not rude comments and only joining in on jokes, things like that. During this stream, V then asked armies to upgrade their questions and asked armies to stop their normal questions because their questions were very boring to him. However, I can see why they're boring because the mass majority of questions have been filtered out due to all these rules that the fandoms put in place about what you can and cannot ask. I would imagine questions like, are you actually dating Jenny? Or do you want to date at all? Are questions that are going to simply be banned from being asked. And if you do ask, you'll likely receive loads of hate from the fandom. So because of that, I think V ends up getting very impersonal questions and questions and jokes that are so generic that they're boring. Aside from maybe the Mary Me Yoongi jokes or even jokes where armies would purposely try to scare BTS by asking what's behind you, there's really not that many jokes you can do. And even then, once BTS said they didn't enjoy the ghost jokes, armies had to stop and it was never really done again. Basically, my point is that we end up not knowing Taehyung as much as we could because in moments where we would normally get to know him, the fandom has restricted themselves from getting to know him more. That is my controversial opinion, but I do wonder if anyone else thinks the exact same way about all this. But of course, I understand that you may not want to ask personal questions as a lot of the personal questions are about his personal lives and you don't want to be invasive. Even a little while ago when when Jenny and V rumors were at its height, Hybe and YG both came out to say that they do not want to comment on the artist's personal life. And if they don't even want to do that, what place do we have as the fans to even ask? There's been a lot of drama going around online the last day or so. And if you are unaware of what is happening, let me give you some backstory on everything. Jenny's phone was recently hacked by a hacker who ended up leaking some pictures of V and Jenny being very close to each other. The photos did not exist elsewhere and were eventually asked by YG to stop spreading them so I won't post them here. But a lot of people assumed they were photoshopped, just photoshopped extremely well. However, once those rumors died, most people, including myself, just assumed that the two were definitely not dating and it was just a lot of coincidences. And many other armies had the right idea to say that other armies need to mind their own business and stop looking into this too much. Because even if they are dating, it's simply none of our business. Recently, a photographer actually ended up tracking V and Jenny walking down a walkway in Paris. Both V and Jenny had activities there and they had things they needed to do. So when a photographer tracked them both and then claimed it was V and Jenny holding hands on a date, it was quite interesting. You cannot see their faces in the video and the video was shot very far away. It was at night, so perhaps the two thought that they could go on their date in a more private setting compared to broad daylight. Later in the evening, photos were seen of V and Jenny going around town, shopping or doing whatever, while wearing the exact same outfit they were wearing in the leaked hand holding video. At this point, it definitely seems like they were not trying to hide any hand holding or that sort of thing. They even walked into the city apparently holding hands and the photographer caught that. It was believed to be a stalker that leaked it. However, it was a famous photographer who had recorded this video. The internet literally exploded because the two were literally wearing the same outfit like maybe an hour or two later. And so even if they were not dating, they were at least trying to make it publicly appear like they are. This was interesting as Jenny got a lot of hate on her Instagram and got vomit emojis. A lot of people who ship Taehyung and other BTS members were very upset as well as if he was dating Jenny, he's obviously not dating the other BTS members. But hey, he could be dating multiple people. If I have seven husbands, why can't he? I'm joking. But I think it's very cute if this is true. And I don't think either member deserves any sort of hate. I think we need to show love to each of them in a time like this, where it almost appears like they want to publicly come out. Reporters contacted both Hive and YG to comment on this situation. And it seems like initially they weren't going to say anything, but then they responded with a similar answer to what they said before, which was that this was the artist's 
artist's personal life and they don't want to comment on that. I commend them for responding this way because once the rules are set and people know that this is how you should respond to dating rumors, less and less people will start to care and dating rumors can be treated similar to people's reactions to whoever Selena Gomez is dating. Things like that. But of course, people are hoping that V and Jenny will come out and actually give a response to this rumor very soon. However, I think V has already done that. V has publicly stopped calling ARMY's girlfriends for a while now, and this could mean that he is looking to date or be with someone known other than his career, right? You can only virtually be with someone for so long, especially if it's not one-on-one, -on -one. and then oftentimes we are the public, we don't understand him intimately. Shouldn't we be happy for him to find someone that he can share intimate things with, cry with, and just be with when things are tough? I think it's nice. I already know that the next BTS live stream that we have, we're going to see armies go crazy and insulting whoever's on the stream because they're going to be like, you guys have changed. And yes, okay, BTS has changed, but we're all supposed to change. If you are the same person you are from a few years ago, you need to go out and do more things because we're supposed to grow, learn, and become a new human. There was even another clip that we have where people were saying it was V and Jenny kissing more publicly, and a lot of these clips we don't even see faces. But it appears like V and Jenny were staying at a hotel above a restaurant, or maybe it was just a hotel, but a very typical and cute Paris romance situation, and they were kissing right by the window. I don't know if V and Jenny would ever be so public about kissing by a window, and how paparazzi would even find that. I also have no idea if this was in Paris, but of course when one rumor comes out, people start digging and they piece together things that may or may not even be true. So since people already believe V and Jenny were holding hands, why not also believe this kissing clip? The clip did end up being looked into and people found out that this was a famous Chinese couple on Chinese social media. There's a Chinese social media site called Douyin and it's very similar to TikTok. It actually came out first and it's what the American TikTok was based off of. This was that couple that we see in the window kissing and was not actually Tang and Jenny at all. You can literally go onto their profile to find out that this particular video was staged and it was made to look like it was recorded by paparazzi or whatever because it's obviously cute. The couple was not trying to impersonate Jenny and V but they were simply just being a couple and being themselves. The couple of course got hate for trying to copy V and Jenny but that's literally not what they did and they probably may or may not even be aware of the V and Jenny dating rumor. And if they are, I highly doubt this beautiful Chinese couple would care that two idols were dating. There seems to be a lot of hate going around and a lot of people seem to be very upset at the new rumor and the new information that has come out and that many people are trying to take it out on as many people as they can. But can these people please stop putting themselves in positions where something like this would even even be upsetting to them. Like stop thinking these idols are single and that they need to date them. Any person you see on screen with millions of fans is likely not going to date you first off. They have millions of dollars and are super famous so good luck even getting a hold of them. And then most of these fans don't even ever want to go out and date the idol. They just want to idolize them from videos and stuff. But if you love the idol wouldn't you want the idol to find love and be happy? Overall I don't know if this is true or not. It seems very true to me. I also think it could be a publicity stunt. Who knows? And at the end of the day, I don't know if I care that much. Let them be or not be. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thank you to this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.